In the middle of a dogfight, there isn't time to analyze the situation and plan out the optimal next move, or dive into why a particular maneuver was the wrong choice. But that's exactly what I see a lot of people doing when talking about this subject. What it's really about is having a good instinct for what you need to do next. I wanted to create a series to go over how the U.S. Air Force builds that instinct in their fighter pilots. That process begins in the extended trail exercise. I'll leave a link in the description for my videos that explain that exercise in detail. After the extended trail exercise, pilots will build a lot of that instinct in the basic fighter maneuvers block of the Introduction to Fighter Fundamentals course. In this series, we'll go through BFM step by step just as it's laid out in the manual for IFF. We'll start with what all the terminology means. Different people have different terms to describe what happens in BFM, but in this series we'll be using the USAF's terms so we're all on the same page. Next we'll cover how to read an energy maneuverability diagram. Now on the surface charts might seem to be pointless in a fast moving fight, but these EM diagrams explain how a fighter will handle during a dogfight. It's also the standard the Air Force uses to gauge a fighter's combat performance. So understanding the strengths and weaknesses of your fighter as well as your opponents is the key to winning the fight. Once you can read an EM diagram, you'll have a massive advantage over any opponent that can't. One thing we won't be doing in this series is long drawn out dogfights with commentary. A lot happens in a fight, and we want to break it down into fundamentals that are easy to digest. Each concept in BFM will have its own practice exercise that you can try out with a friend. Going through these exercises for yourself will teach you more than watching any video. We'll break down BFM into three parts. Offensive BFM with you starting in a position of advantage on your opponent. Defensive BFM with your opponent in the advantageous position. And high aspect BFM where you both start in a neutral position. Don't worry, we'll also go over why it's called high aspect instead of neutral. You might be wondering why BFM is taught this way. It has to do with how humans learn and master fundamental concepts. During my time in the Air Force, I was taught that practical skills could be understood at three levels. The first level was called knowledge, where all you can do is recite facts that you've heard about a subject. This is what you typically get out of watching a video on something. Next is comprehension, which means you understand the meaning and can do things like translate knowledge from one form to another or make simple predictions. The final and most critical level is application, which means you can apply that knowledge in a real world environment without an instructor telling you what to do. And this final step is the real goal of this series. If you really want to be good at BFM, you need to understand it at the application level. But you can only get there by practicing the exercises that we'll cover. We'll go over the building blocks of BFM one block at a time so you can easily absorb it all. Going through all these exercises will help you build up the instinct that you need to win a dogfight. But just like in real life, BFM skills are useful outside of a fight. Need to rendezvous with the tanker for in-flight refueling? Your BFM skills will help with that. Making an intercept on a civilian plane that wandered into restricted airspace? You'll be using those same skills there too. BFM is also the first building block for engagements that are more than just you and one opponent. We'll cover that in a follow-on series called Air Combat Maneuvering. But before you get there, you need a solid foundation of skills. And that foundation is BFM. To get the most out of this series, I recommend that you first watch the radio comms and formation flying videos on this channel. These are the building blocks for BFM, and links will be in the description. As you go through this series, make time to practice with a friend. Do that enough, and you will master BFM.